all right what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to be changing out my winter i mean my summer wheels for my winter wheels so these are summer performance tires um it is now november i think 28th almost december so i'm not really gonna need these anymore like these are terrible in the snow so i have a whole other set of wheels and tires that i'm gonna swap over those are winter wheels so those are made for the snow they're good for the winter the low temps uh because i live here in new york so it gets pretty cold over here so i'm gonna swap those out today um i'm gonna show you guys what the car looks like you know with the summer wheels on and with the winter wheels so you can see the difference i'm also going to go over the wheel specs so right now for my summer tires i'm running the firehawk the firestone firehawk indy 500s and these are let me see right there if you guys can see it these are 255 35r18s so these are 18 inch rims 18 inch wheels my winter wheels are actually 17 inches um i went with that just because i wanted to go with a thinner tire and a smaller wheel uh also it's just cheaper and then even though i have a smaller tire the sidewall is a little bit thicker so the diameter is about the exact same between these wheels and the 17 inches so there's like no difference really in like my speedometer all right, so I got the car jacked up now. And then I have all the winter wheels here. I rolled them out. So in just a second, I'll take one of these off and then compare it to these. So you guys can see the diameter difference, which is pretty minimal. Um, and I'll show you the difference in thickness. And then just so we can check real quick. So these are the hand cook uh, winter Icept Evo 2s, uh, and these are a 225-45 R17. So these are a lot thinner, but they're also a lot thicker. So this is good for the winter because you don't want really thick wheels. It's easier for thin wheels to go through the snow. So, yeah, I was just saying, you want thinner wheels because the thinner wheels will go through the um, snow a little bit easier and also as you can see the tread pattern on these winter wheels are very different and they're very soft compound compared to the summer t the summer tires which are like i mean you know these are still good but as you can see these would not be good for snow whatsoever so once i get the wheels off i'll also go over the two different um like rims that i have these are the Avid One AV06s, I believe. Basically, they're kind of like knockoff TE37s, if you've ever seen TE37s with this six-spoke design. I think it fits the WX really well. And also, I don't want to break the bank. So these are pretty cheap compared to what actually actual TE37s cost. That's why I got these. And then for the winter wheels, I just want something cheap that was, you know, decent. So I got these Koenig, the Koenig Control, I think they're called. Um, I'll double check, I'll look it up. But yeah, these rims, this whole rim and tire setup, I think when I got it was like $900. It was like a $150 rebate. So these were really cheap. I did get them on Black Friday like two years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, they're pretty cheap, but like, you know, they're decent rims. Uh, the tires are pretty good. You know, they're not the best on the market but they're you know they're good enough you know it's not like i live in canada where i have some crazy amounts of snow i just have a little bit of snow here and there and then obviously these just don't perform well when it's like below freezing like at all so here is a width comparison here's my summer tire here's the winter tire as you can see the winter tire is a lot thinner so let me just move them so that I can show you guys the diameter difference. Alright. So here I have the two wheels standing next to each other. As you can see, the diameter difference is like pretty minimal. I'm actually looking at it. I don't know if the summertime might actually be slightly smaller. 
I don't really have anything flat, but here's just like a piece of cardboard next to them. And I mean, it's kind of hard to tell which one's thinner. But I mean, that's the whole point I'm trying to, I was trying to make before that the diameter difference is very minimal, if any at all. So, you know, my speedometer readings will still be the exact same with the winter wheels as they are with the summer tires. Because typically when you go to a smaller size wheel, that'll affect your, um, your speedometer. Because since the wheel is smaller, the diameter is smaller, it needs to rotate more to go the same distance as a bigger tire. Uh, but in this case, they are both pretty much the same, so it's not a big deal. And then here again is just the difference in uh, thickness. Actually, let me see if I can fix this a little better. All right, here you go. As you can see, these are pretty meaty <laughs> compared to these. So these grip a heck of a lot better. But the good thing about those being a little bit thicker is that they soak up bumps better. So these are actually more comfortable to ride in. Um, these are very thin, so the wheel, the sidewall is a lot thicker. They don't really soak up bumps that much. You feel it more in the car. But at the same time, you have a lot more control when you're driving the car with these as opposed to the uh, winter wheels. And I kind of like the look of both. You know, I have the gold or the bronze six spoke design for the summer. And then for the winter, I have like the all black design, which I think goes well with the car as well. All right, so here's the car with the winter wheels on. It's not a bad look. I mean, I still prefer the look of the bronze Avid wheels, but uh, I do like the black on black. And you can, as you can see, visibly thicker these wheels. And also a little thing I don't really like about these wheels is that they're a little shallow. So they're like a little sunken in. Which is fine, it's not a big deal. These wheels are, um, I have a different offset on them so they're pushed out more. So they act, these wheels actually line up pretty much perfectly with the fender. Which is what I was looking for in terms of looks. But these wheels are not for looks, these are for like, you know, usability. So you know, they don't have to look perfect on the car. And they look pretty good anyway, I think.